Hey everyone, it's your girl Layla. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, welcome back to another episode of Vlogmas. It wasn't my intention to wait this long to film this video. It wasn't my intention to get everything so late. So I think the VIB sale started in the beginning of November and I literally didn't get this stuff until three days ago because of the floods and all of that stuff that's happening in British Columbia. I guess a lot of this stuff comes from Vancouver or like Richmond. So the mail is just super delayed and I received one item from Ontario like a week ago and then everything else came in literally three days ago. They also stuffed everything into this little tiny box and I wasn't impressed by that either because <laughs> there was no bubble wrap, nothing. It's like they didn't really take their time and they just threw everything into a box and tried to like fit it together <laughs> without even caring and then it literally took three weeks to get to me so yeah I wasn't super impressed by the shipping this time around but we are gonna go ahead and get into what I got if you guys are not already subscribed please go ahead and click the subscribe button below I upload every single day until the 26th of December for vlogmas okay so I try to stuff everything in this Sephora bag but I didn't really succeed because I had some bigger stuff. But I will go ahead and start with, let's start with this actually. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Secret Set. So I think this was around 65-ish regular price. Of course, with the VIB sale, I get 20% off because I'm rouge. So this particular set comes with the Pillow Talk lip bath i think this is a lip bath so this is what this one looks like i've never tried any pillow talk items yet but i'm very very excited to try them out because they are just super hyped up and this is just a really pretty color it's supposed to be very universal it does lean different undertones on different people and some people say that it's not for them so i'm really hoping that this works out for me it looks like a color that i would wear so this is the lip gloss i don't know what the difference is between these two i just think that the lip bath is actually shimmery and then the lip gloss is like a cream finish so that's the only difference that i can really detect but i'd have to try them on the lips to really be sure it also comes with the pillow talk lip liner so these are all mini versions and then the lipstick is full size so oh this packaging is actually really nice it has some weight to it i have not tried any charlotte tilbury lip products i've only tried their powder which is really really good and the packaging is not it doesn't feel like this this one is like weighty so that is the top of it it has some rhinestones up there very very pretty and of course everything is in this rose gold color which i love and the lipstick just looks like this definitely looks like a color i would like so I'm just, yeah, hoping for the best with this one. Sephora has a really good return policy also, but I mean, I would like to keep this. This set was a really, really great deal. So that's that. Next up, I got the Way. Is it Way or Way? I don't know how to say the name of this brand, but this is what it's called. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. Way, I think. So this is the Byredo Mojave Ghost collab and I've always wanted to try Byredo products and I've always wanted to try Mojave Ghost. I have a couple on my list of want to try and I just haven't been to the mall lately. I feel like most people haven't really been to the mall lately. I just go to the one that's close to me and it doesn't really have like a Saks Fifth Avenue or Nordstrom or anything like that. I would literally have to go deep south calgary to chinook center to go to like those stores so i haven't been there in like a whole year <laughs> but i have a list of perfumes like luxury perfumes that i want to try and yeah mojave ghost is one of them 
and I am very excited to be trying it out. This is a leave-in conditioner and it does it's a really, really strong scent. Oh my goodness. Byredo, if you are not familiar with them, they, I don't know if they're a niche house or a designer house of perfume, but I know that their perfume is usually like $200 a bottle. It's pretty strong. I think the scent leans more masculine. It smells really, really woody. Uh, almost like there's a cedar note in here. I haven't really looked up the notes of Mojave Ghost. It definitely smells like a cologne, so I'm glad I didn't like blind buy it or anything like that. I'm glad I got to try it in this first. So yeah, all in all, I've only tried this one time in my hair and I was really, really scared to try it because it's such a strong scent that I was scared to go to work with it in my hair, but it was fine. I feel like the scent doesn't last all day long. Like it is strong at first, but only last like maybe half of my work day and it's nothing like too overpowering which is nice so if you are curious about this product and you're like oh Wayne by Rito has that product yeah definitely go ahead and try it I highly recommend it it is a heat protecting spray as well as a leave-in conditioner so you can use it for both I ran out of my heat protecting spray so this came in at a really good time. I think regular price, that's $30 around there. The next thing I picked up is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, and I ran out of my setting spray, so I decided to try this. I've only ever tried the Jeffree Star version of this, which is the pink one, and it smelled like strawberries. I don't think this one smells like strawberries, but this is what this one looks like, just, you know, setting spray, and this is pretty inexpensive. I think it's like 20 bucks for the setting spray while others are like 40, 50 dollars, which is ridiculous. So next up I purchased, this was more of like a treat. This is currently the primer that I'm using right now and I've been using it for a little bit. I just have a sample of it and I plan to do a full face of makeup samples, but I never really got to filming that video. But anyways, I am using the sample size version of this and this is the Guerlain Meteorites base and I just really really like this primer like it's such a good primer so this is what it looks like if you've never seen it before this is a quite this is quite expensive I think it's around the 70 80 dollar price range but it is worth it it's such a good primer and I I'm not the type of person to repurchase a primer usually with samples. I don't really end up liking the product in the end. There's only like one or two that I've tried that I've actually bought in full size. One of them is the Benefit Professional and I think the other one was a Too Faced one, the Hangover one. I've tried a lot of primers. I'm really picky but this one is just, it ticks off all my boxes, it's really nice, long lasting, it kind of gives my skin a little bit of a glow underneath my foundation which is nice and it smells really good, it smells like all of their other meteorites products so love Guerlain, Guerlain cannot do me wrong. Next thing I picked up is the Verb Ghost Oil. So again this is a pretty inexpensive product, I think this is under $20. And this is a really, really good hair oil. What I like about this is it's clear. I found that with the Moroccan oil, it was starting to turn my hair like a different color, if that makes sense. Like it is such a deep yellow color, actual oil. And if you're blonde or you're platinum blonde, it can turn your hair a little bit brassy. So I had to stop using it and I started using this one and I really do like it. This has Moringa oil in it. And if you are Filipino, I recently learned that Moringa is malongai leaves. So yeah, I really do like this oil. I feel like it just blends in your hair really nice. And yeah, love it, repurchase. Next thing I picked up was the Innisfree Pore Clay Mask. So I've been using this for a while. It's like the only product that can clear up my skin. Well, one of the only products. There's a Lush Mask that I really like too, but that one, it just, it expires really fast. And this one just lasts way longer. It's a lot cheaper for me in the long run. I think this is around $20. You get a lot of product. This is like a 100 ml jar. And this lasts about five to six months for me, using it on a regular basis. I use it every other day, pretty much, just to keep my skin looking nice. My skin is very difficult, you guys. Like, it's very difficult. So this mask is a miracle worker. I love it. 
If you have oily skin, I highly recommend trying out this mask. Okay, next up, this is kind of a boring product. This is just a eyeshadow primer. I got the Fenty Beauty eyeshadow primer. I got the color Invisi Pink. I don't know if they have other colors or anything like that, but I believe this is like the regular one that I have. I use it all the time and I just ran out of mine, so I decided to repurchase it. I was stuck between getting this and the Selena Gomez Rare Beauty one, but I ended up just getting this one because I've already tried it. Next up is another refill type product, so I've already had this. And I just got a new one because I ran out of my other one. And this one, it doesn't really last long, to be honest with you. It lasts me about three months maximum. This is the Brow Pop by Kosas. I think that's how you say the brand, Kosas. So I got it in dark brown and basically it's just a brow pencil. So one side is a brow pencil and then the other side is a which is nice. I love this product, but yeah, like I said, it doesn't last very long for me. It lasts between two to three months because I use it like every single day. I don't ever go out without my brows. So that's that. The next thing I picked up was the Rare Beauty Mini Moms Duo. So I had issues trying to find this product. I had it in my cart and then it sold out and then it said it was no longer available. And then I went to Sephora, like the Sephora store to try to find this because it said it was in stock. And then the rep just couldn't find it anywhere. And then I found it by the till. So if you are looking for this, they definitely still do have it. And it's pretty inexpensive. I think for this duo, it was around $20, which is not bad. So you get a liquid lip balm in Nearly Mauve. And I basically got these two products because I like wearing tinted bombs for when I go hiking. I think that, I mean, for my selfies and photos and stuff, I like to look like I'm not dead, you know? Like, you know what I mean? Because before I would just wear a regular ass bomb and I would just look pale in a lot of my photos and I didn't like that. So I started just wearing a tinted bomb and it's just so much better. So this doesn't have a smell actually. Maybe it's like very faint. It's almost like a really faint vanilla scent. So this is the balm that I came with and it's also a nice mauve -y color. I know that it's not gonna be like this deep on the lips. It's definitely just gonna be a nice wash of color, which is nice. And the packaging is really tiny and cute and perfect for my backpack. So that is my first ever Rare Beauty purchase and I'm so happy about it. I think that these two just look so, like they're just cute. You know, the back's flat and they just like stack up really nicely together. Love that. And then next up, this is another treat product. This is something that I've wanted for a really long time. And it's been in my favorites list, I think, since it came out. And this is the Huda Beauty Nude Light Palette. I tried to get this at the Sephora store when I purchased my Rare Beauty items, but this was sold out, so. I think it's a really popular item. I was gonna buy it last VIB sale too and it was also sold out. So I guess this is a really popular item to get during the VIB sale, I don't know. This is around $38 regular price, but I know I have a ton of nude palettes. I have a ton of neutral palettes in my collection. I'm actually wearing a very neutral eye look today. And I mean, I just wanted something tiny, compact, kind of like a go-to palette with everything. And I'm hoping that I really like this and this is the palette for me. It does have a nice variety of colors, to be honest with you. Like they're not all super neutral and brown and boring. They kind of have some oomph to them, I would say. Like that color is so pretty. So yeah, I wouldn't classify this as like a boring neutral palette. I think that this is just a little bit different and I like it. So it does come with a mirror, by the way. So really great for traveling. It's small, compact, thin. It's gonna fit really great in your makeup bag, perfectly fine. So that's that. I also think that this would look really good with the Pillow Talk lipsticks and stuff that I got earlier. And then so the very last thing, this was actually sent to me, but this is available at Sephora and I just really wanna quickly 
mention them and tell you guys what I got. So I got sent some stuff from Bondi Boost and I'm so excited for that. I always love trying out new hair products. I've been using this since back in September. So I did get it a little bit ago. I just haven't shown it in a video. So I got the Rapid Repair Shampoo from Bondi Boost. And no, I'm not just saying this because I got it for free, but this shampoo has like changed my hair. <laughs> I'm not even trying to be dramatic or anything like that, but it's actually made my hair a lot healthier. I was using a lot of Joico K-Pack prior to this product, and I feel like it was just putting too much protein in my hair. My hair was looking a little bit over-processed, and it wasn't as healthy and shiny as it is now. And I remember the first photo that I took hiking after I tried this product, and I'm like, holy, my hair looked like I got a blowout or something like that. Like, my hair looked that smooth and nice. And it's currently, you know, the shampoo that I'm using now, if you guys were wondering. So yeah, I feel like it just, it's a really gentle shampoo, really, really good for color treated hair. It doesn't strip out my toner, which is something that's always a concern to me because if a shampoo is too strong, my purple shampoo slash toner isn't gonna last very long in my hair. It's gonna last like one or two washes and that's it. But this is gentle enough to where I can get away with going two weeks without toning my hair and it's fine. Love that. And then I also got the Rapid Repair Conditioner. So if you guys were wondering about Bondi Boost, they're pretty new to Sephora. They are an Australian brand and yeah, their stuff absolutely smells amazing. They're vegan, cruelty-free all of that stuff that people care about these days. Like they're everything free, they're sulfate free. They're just a really, really good brand and I really do love their products and I'm not, literally not just saying that. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I'm not just saying that. I'm saying that their products, I've tried them and they're really, really good. So the very last thing that I got from Bonnie Boost is their Pink Salt Scalp Scrub. So this is really great for this time of year. This I feel like is a really great gifting product because you wouldn't honestly think about something like this But I know a lot of people struggle in the winter time with a dry scalp and it flakes and stuff like that Which is not fun and what this is it's basically What the name suggests. Oh my gosh. It smells amazing. It smells like a spearmint Like a spearmint I don't know like cookie or something or like spearmint candy maybe like a candy cane <laughs> Something like that so that's what it looks like it is a himalayan pink salt scrub for your scalp and it just gets rid of all the dead skin it feels really nice when you rub this into your scalp you use about like a tablespoon size and then just scrub it it's minty it smells amazing and it makes your scalp definitely feel a lot nicer because I've been struggling too lately. I noticed that with the cold weather, my scalp gets a lot more dry than usual and it's just not cute. So love this stuff. It's amazing. That is pretty much it for my Sephora VIB haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already. I'm uploading every single day until the 26th of December and hopefully this video gave you guys some gift ideas for Christmas. If you guys were hoping to get some Sephora items, hopefully this gave you guys some ideas of what to purchase people for Christmas. Also, they are having another 20% off sale. I think it's like a one-time purchase from like December 3rd until the 12th around there so you can definitely still take advantage of getting 20% off at Sephora. For the holiday season, I'm glad they extended it because there's some stuff that I still want to get. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.